Welcome to the crew's one year anniversary. All right, we are here for our one year anniversary, as Lizzie said. With us today, we have Wild Wolf, Sarah, Lizzie, Duffman Danny, Piper Bunny, Extra Fun, uh, Puppery, and the Doctor, Gizmo Dude. So what we're doing is to celebrate our one year of doing videos. Uh, as of the, uh, this video being uploaded, it'll be our one year anniversary. So we've done quite a few videos about, I think this is our 312th video uh, of the year. So not too bad, not a video a day, but pretty darn close. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show the crew some blasts from the past. We're going to be looking around here at some worlds. This is the first ever single player world that Lizzie and I created. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, an area that this has pretty well been all cleared out. But we're going to go to an area where we actually really did our first real building. So I've got to kind of walk around here to find it. Um, let me think here. Which way should we be going? Uh, <laughs> you lost. Yeah, I think I, <laughs> well, I, think I might place. be. Yeah, so it's just down this way. Wow, you guys did a lot of digging. Yeah, yeah we did quite a bit. So you guys may remember this area once you see oh. it. Oh, yeah. So this was our main area. Of course, Lizzie had to have a pool. Lizzie always likes a pool. Did a nice glass area here. <gasps> oh, cool. So this was all of our chests and stuff. Our uh, garbage bin there to, to recycle. Oh, dear. <laughs> and in goes That's Wolf. Garbage. Oh no. <laughs> Did Wolf go in there? <laughs> I got pushed in. So, um, let's go outside. Let's go out this. Uh, no, let's go out this other door. This was our big outdoor pool. It used to be a fire pit in the begin in the middle burning, uh, but back when we did this, wood would burn uh, potentially forever. Uh, now we'd have to use netherrack. But this house uh, over here to the right is a house that Lizzie pretty much built, and she was working on this one about the time we stopped playing uh, single player. That down here is a monster trap. Uh, basically, you go inside the middle. And uh, the monsters fall and drown in there, kind of where Pup is. They get down in there, drown, and then all the stuff comes into the middle. Oh, brilliant. In I here, this in the video. And in yeah. here, we had like an animal area for animals. Yeah, this is kind of like in our village where I had a uh, big area where they could climb in. There's a block on the outside so that the animals could jump into this area and then they'd get stuck. And so would monsters. They would get stuck too. And of course, hopefully the monsters would go into this pit and we'd get their stuff. Can we show the mansion we made? Like the little house we made together? Yeah. We, no? Yeah, we can take them over yeah. there. Oh, and there was this spot here where monsters would spawn under there and they'd jump into there. Alright, so up here was the house that Lizzie and I worked on. She did a lot of the work. This is so cool. This first room it here is. is like the work room. And here would, 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 this would be like where we'd make our tools. Over here in the room, this room here would be like the computer room. We'd have like, wanted to make a computer in here. Here's like a hot tub. There's something here. I don't know what it is. There's oh, something above. <laughs> yeah, this was supposed to be our fireplace here, uh, but again, the wood burn up with the updates. Yeah. Upstairs, we have a little railway for that. I found something. There's some empty rooms too. This is one of the guest rooms. <laughs> this here's it would be a room. complete without a toilet. Yep, Lizzie has a toilet <laughs> in there. 
There was a storage room. There was a fireplace here too. Don't go in there, Danny's on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> up in there was the attic. We pretty much didn't do anything up there, but it was a pretty large attic. So that's pretty much the house. And that pretty much takes care of uh, this area. So what we'll do now is we'll go to another area. All right, so you guys can come on in. <laughs> oh, God, I <laughs> what oh, is this? Oh, this was amazing. I don't remember this world. Yeah, this one never made it into videos, but this is our first real multiplayer world where Lizzie, Paige, Abby, and oh. um, and Daniel played. And um, I had Bucket, uh, the predecessor to Bucket, called HMOD at the time. And just real chaos, tons of crazy stuff built here. No rhyme, no reason to anything. Um, all kinds of things. You can see that water slide there in the distance that I was getting ready to fly to over there. Forget what this house is. But everybody just went crazy building stuff in here. Um, just TNT in certain areas. Um, oh, but this we, was my we, house here. It burnt down. But yeah, we Somebody built a lot of crazy down. stuff. That was. It was when I didn't like fire. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when Lizzie didn't like fire. Yes. Wow. Only one so here's time. The big, so here's the big water slide. But lots of stuff here, and then what we kind of did is we set up another area, and uh, I'm going to warp, if everybody wants to warp to home too, um, it will take us to the uh, second area in this world where we kind of build a lot of stuff. So when you guys come here, you'll see a lot of like pyramids and different structures. Oh, wow. So we did quite a bit of... Uh, work with some of the plugins to make these weird structures and you can see some 2d art in the background that lizzie and i did of mario and the characters from that world but yeah there's the 2d art back there oh, oh that's wow. cool i built most of them my dad built this mario one I built the other ones, and for some reason my wool one is gone. You used the leaves for the green one, so that's oh, why it's gone. Oh, yeah. Now, back in the back back here where we did some castles and stuff, um, you can see I made a castle and then I would duplicate it. But there's also something kind of uh, un really special in a sense that it led us to a lot of the stuff we did, but... Back here in the uh, back, this one wooden house, uh, this is is um, Bobby's castle. Or not Bobby's castle, but Bobby's wooden house. This was the first character that I created an NPC of, and he would give clues to the girls and Daniel about things Quest to go on. And they just loved it. They literally just couldn't wait to get home from school, log into the server, and see if Bobby was here to give them a quest. So, I mean, this was a big thing for them, uh, and it really kind of got us started with the idea of making videos and doing quests and that type of stuff. Uh, what was funny is now Bobby was um, also a source of problem uh, because Paige's grandma was watching Paige one day, and Paige uh, was clicking on Bobby, who was telling them to do, to do quests and thanking them, and she thought... Bobby was like a real person and didn't trust him. She thought he might have been kind of looking to like kidnap her child or her grandchild or something. Oh no. <laughs> and I tried and tried to explain to her that Bobby was just an NPC that I created to give quests to the kids. But she just didn't oh, think God. that she thought there was something wrong with Bobby. He just didn't seem right. And she was not going to let Paige play. <laughs> So I had to actually wait till Paige's uh, mom got home and explain it to her, and she understood it. Aww. Aww, poor Bobby. 
So we built a lot of stuff here. Uh, one of the funny things too is I protected uh, Bobby's house with a protection and Daniel uh, Zipjaw did not like that. He wanted so badly to get inside that house because I had some goodies in there but I had a protection zone set. He tried to go above and below it, tunnel to it. He tried to blow it up to get into it uh, but he couldn't figure out how to get in. <laughs> And there was some goodies inside the chest that was in Bobby's house, and and uh, Daniel really knew that that stuff was there, and he wanted it. Yeah, but we had cheer him on. So let's go ahead and go on to the next world. All right, you can log in. I think I recognize this world. I recognize it as well. Yeah. You guys should recognize this world. This was the world we started doing our first videos. Enter the crew and everything in. The weird thing is, I watched the video where you made this uh, greenhouse, like yesterday. Oh, I'm All on right. a tree. Oh, wow. So right here is the first little door. This is where Paige said her line about zombies will slap you in the face. <laughs> oh, I love Here's this Here's my world. room. Yay. <laughs> I found gunpowder. In my chest. You guys may remember back here it was where I built that little secret room where I was going to um, hide something from the girls. Yeah. I actually watched the video. <laughs> yeah, which kind of spoiled my secret when I did by showing a video of it, but what the heck. <laughs> so now if we want to warp here, we can go to another, another point in this world. If we go ahead and warp to home uh, one... This is when we made our first little trip to that one big mountain in the distance. And we kind of tunneled into this mountain um, and built a little home away from home. Uh, this was really one of our first areas we explored far from the home. So this is the inside. Had some tunnels downward. Had our little base of operation here where we stored stuff. Oh god, this is really weird. <laughs> Where's my diamonds? My two diamonds. Isn't this the world that... the place where you had the quest? Yeah, and we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> so now let's warp to uh, home two. And this is what you're thinking about when it comes to the quest area. This is where we did our, our first quest. But this is kind of like our second little village that we started creating. You guys should remember this. Oh! Up here is my lookout post. And you can kind of see down below and that there's my house down there and that's kind of where we first did our, our first quest. You know, eventually this is where we built the nether dome, which was back there in the distance towards the snow. Uh, it's not here in this back up though. But yeah, the nether dome was right back there. You can kind of see where I was getting, I think, getting ready to start building it back there. Where that stone is. I'm going to my food shop. Yeah, I think like this, started it here. this was the, um, the bit that made me create the quest for you guys. Like, watching you do it. And I was like, oh, I could do something like that. Yeah, I mean, this was a, a fun moment for us because it's really when we first started really trying to do a quest and a video. This town quest was pretty simple and basic, and the, but the kids enjoyed it. And then it got me to do the lore quest, which was something that uh, they really enjoyed. All right, so let's get ready to go to our next world. All right, you guys can log into the next one. Now, this one should look familiar to you guys. <gasps> oh yeah. Yeah, this is Glacier Park, the Glacier Seed, which was a favorite of mine just because of some of the beautiful landscape that is, and caves that are generated in this world. <laughs> now, if you go to spawn, if you didn't already arrive here, this was all kind of how we had set up our first open server. We set these signs up made an open air spawn point so you could come down from the sky land safely and this is where we set up a bunch of chests with stuff so that when you came into the world 
you could be uh, loaded and ready to go. This is where we did our first monster hunts, too. Oh, I remember that plugin. So we had a pretty good little setup here. And then, um, you know, you could follow the path there in the distance. You can see a house, that uh, log, log cabin. I actually pasted that in. Somebody else built that, and I downloaded it off of Reddit, I think. And I pasted it into the world so the girls could play with a uh, uh, an actual log, big wooden mansion. But if you guys want to follow me and fly, we can go over back where uh, I originally logged in. And this is where the uh, the big mountain is with the big cave that we put the big front glass wall on, which was always really cool. Um, and this is also where we set up some of our first yeah. shops. So here it is. And over there was the shops that we made. And that's also where I, I did the test of the NPCs and showed you Bobby and did a test of... Uh, uh, the notch plug-in but the kids all created some stores and and we're gonna sell stuff and all that and they had a lot of fun I with that. did the weapon shop back there was the spawner this world was one of those rare ones that had a spawner like right near the surface you can see it back in there it's the best house. <laughs> it's in the world and then we come in here you know we had this was pretty much all tunneled out like this, uh, but I built my house over here. Uh, Lizzie, Abby, and Paige had their houses and little rooms back in there. Now this also, if you want to warp to uh, a dome, and if I can type it right, this was the second incarnation of Thunderdome. Obviously not the Nether Dome. But you can see in here, um, if I can get in, this is where we did some of our fights, minus the world hole. That was my perch up there. Uh, and then upstairs, there should be a maze, if I remember right. Yeah. yeah, you did. Yep. And Lizzie pushed me. Sorry? Wow, this is an easy maze. Oh, <laughs> wow. So yeah, Oops. so what I used to do is I would spawn monsters inside this maze and the girls would run around and try to get through the maze and try to be the first one out and not get killed. Of course I lost at it though because I'm not good at mazes. But I mean that was pretty much the dome. Um, like I said I really enjoyed the Glacier Park seed uh, and I enjoyed this world but let's move on. Now we're going to cut the video here and when we uh, do the next part tomorrow you'll see some more blasts from Crew Past.